President Muhammad Buhari has held a closed-door meeting with Governor Nasir El Rufai of Kaduna State in the presidential villa Abuja to discuss issues pertinent to security in and around the state. The governor spoke on the outcome of the meeting. Brief, Mr. President, with the Kaduna State Commissioner in charge of internal security, Samuel Aruan, to give detailed briefing to the president on the attacks on five villages in Giwa local government, where a total of 40 people were killed uh, about three days ago. Uh, the bandits attacked the villages and essentially killed anyone that they could find and burnt down houses and produce. Uh, it is one of the worst incidents we've had in the state in quite a while. I think the last time we had anything close to that was um, in 20, hmm? in Kaura 38 people and then we had 50 people in Kerawa in Igabi local government. So I went to visit the displaced persons and uh, offered the condolences and sympathies of Mr. President uh, to them and uh, also announced a series of measures that will be taken to ameliorate their suffering as well as restore order so that they can go back to their homes. Um, I came to the villa to give details to Mr. President and to convey the appreciation of the people for his message uh, as well as uh, seek for a greater intervention of uh, federal security forces uh, to degrade further the activities of bandits in the state. So you have to understand the limitations that they face before you conclude that they are not doing enough. They are doing a lot. But is it uh, enough? Certainly not. It, they, uh, you know, much more needs to be done. But can they do more with the number of policemen they have, with the number of soldiers? Um, I don't know. We need to ramp up uh, recruitment in the Nigeria police. We need to ramp up uh, you know, recruitment in the Nigerian armed forces. We have too few numbers and our security forces are overstretched. They are operating in several states, about 32, 33 states the last time we checked. And how many are they? So we must understand the constraint that they face and sympathize with them. Um, but with the you know, acquisition of more advanced equipment uh, from the countries that I mentioned, Jordan, China, uh, Turkey and uh, the United States, we expect that the kinetic capabilities of our armed forces will be greatly improved. So we hope to see the end of this uh, insecurity. As you know, Kaduna State Government has always maintained the position that there is nothing like a repentant bandit. We don't believe in negotiation with bandits. We believe that the only repentant bandit is a dead one. When he's in the grave, I agree he has repented because he has gone to God. God will deal with him. I will accept that repentance. But any bandit that is alive cannot be, repent, cannot be repentant. Uh, our position is kill them all. Let them go and repent to God, not to the government of Nigeria or Kaduna State.